are Rob and Tamsin, taking on another crazy adventure, hoping to walk from Minehead in Somerset to Poole in Dorset. At 630 miles, it's the longest trail in Britain. Join us as we take on the challenge of this long and beautiful seaside walk. Before setting off, we had a whole Just world of packing to do. What we thought we were going to need <laughs> before we started, so yes. Okay. So the first thing um, I'm going to try and pack is my sleeping pad. Then there was this bit where we tried our brand new and very bright yellow tent out in the garden. <laughs> We're just uh, walking to the station. Um, the time is like 6.40, just left my mum's house and uh, we're starting our journey towards the southwest. This is going to be pretty exciting I think. Minehead is a coastal holiday resort town home to the famous Big Tops of Butlins. We walked away from Butlins to the start right. of what was going to be a journey we will never forget. Before we embark on the journey, some people may be asking why decide to do the whole thing in one go? It seems like a lot of effort. The answer is, why not? We had some time off, so we had the opportunity to go on an adventure. With 2021 being the way it was, we decided to keep it relatively local. We wanted to challenge ourselves and, after leaving Japan, we wanted to fall in love with the UK again. Whether walking around the rugged and beautiful southwest of England for 630 miles sounds crazy, for us, we were excited and more than a little nervous to take it on. I'm gonna try and walk with one without my things. So nice. What a beautiful day. Loving it! day two right yeah so we've come 21 miles from minehead and now this <laughs> <laughs> a 
I've done all right then. Makes me want to cry a little bit. Why? Because you're what, 21 miles? <laughs> no, that feels like, yeah, that's about right. Uh, Six and 15, yeah. yeah 15 yeah. yesterday. And then do you want to explain what's behind you? The funicular. It's a called a railway. A I don't know. I don't know why it's called a railway, I'm not sure. Sort of. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Coast bus there. Yeah. yeah. Another collie. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the first one of the car? <laughs> one. Day three. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. leaving Linton and we're trying to get to Coombe Martin who knows if we'll get there but you have to keep up with me what makes me <gasps> where are my sticks where did you oh, I'm a spanner I'm on a mission to get my sticks now <laughs> phew I still have my sticks. <laughs> no, they're just still propped up there. Luckily, the woman hadn't like noticed. Yeah, a few I people. Thought she was gonna a be few like, people noticed that I was on my own with backpack, and I was like, "Are you okay? Yeah, what happened, what happened to your like, husband?" <laughs> I thought, yeah, I was like, oh, he's forgotten his sticks. <laughs> Is that what you had to say? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That's been embarrassing they, they for you. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, oops. Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> so what's happened today? I've nearly dropped my rucksack into some fresh dog poo. Yeah. Tanzan saved me. <laughs> That's fucking <laughs> close. That would have been a fail. I'd have been so annoyed. Okay. I'd have never to come back to Linmouth again. What are you trying to say? Oh, oh, no, you're fouling. Oh, a bit further. Oh. Three? Yeah, you're three now. Oh. What are you going to do about your poles? You have to throw them through. <laughs> what? That's why you're here. Really? To help with obstacles. Okay. I'm going to swing like a monkey, like this. Oh, that was too smooth. Too smooth? Too smooth. Oh, I'm sorry. Just come along that path there. And then we got this monster to tackle. It's so deep. I'm not surprised this today is, what is it? 1330 meters ascent. Not up and down, it's just ascent. and cake over at the Huntsman Inn which is uh, just over there it's like two minutes walk away um, and then because we we're so tired we just thought we'd have to just like relax take it easy not like fatigue ourselves too much um, day three feeling like a bit of a beast um, but I'm sure we'll come back with more energy tomorrow and make it to Ilfricum so we're just over here <laughs> Hello. 
wake up at 5.30am to get up the hill here and get on our way to Coon Martin. Um, it's mega, well it's not really dark, it's a bit of a glow. Um, having a brew, packing up the tent. So it is about 6.45, 6 in the morning and we're on the way to Coon Martin. So a big uphill and around hopefully we'll be there around lunchtime, that'll be really good. And then we can think about what next. We did it! <laughs> Big one stay on top, right? I got such a little one. Look at this. Look at my small than yours. Tiny. Alright. <laughs> the wind will have it. On the top. I've got two. <laughs> you play this mine? I love your work. Don't be offended. Can I play this to mine? <laughs> you really pissed off. <laughs> this little, little, little section next to mine. Look. Oh, oh, perfect. You can see that one there. Okay. Perfect. perfect. Yeah. yeah. Wow. This is nice, isn't it? Mental. Mental. Coombs. Oh, yeah. And valleys. Coombs and cans. Just a pile of rocks. Lots of people. Woohoo! Come on, cows. Let's get out the way. Come on. Come on. Come. <laughs> oh, there is a horse. That really freaks me out. There is a horse. <laughs> Where? Oh yeah! What? The horse hanging out with the cows. He's like, it's my head. Yeah. It's very nice here. So pretty. Yeah. And the weather has brightened up. Yeah, it is nice, yeah. And I bent my pole. You bent your pole. I it's bent it back a little, little bit. Sounds it fell over. It fell over. It's very I've mucky. I've got a, a muddy bum. Yay, go on. Bottom of your rucksack's a bit muddy. I know. Early morning day. We're walking from Watermouth to Of Confessed and hopefully on to Croyd. So that goes to the long one. So Rob's on the mission. Apparently, uh, before D-Day, World War II, the uh, Allied forces decided 
because he wanted to try and resupply ships at sea. And so they built a pipeline between Swansea, which apparently you can see in the distance across the water, and Watermouth. And there was a big kind of chain bit which went around the middle of it in the Bristol Channel called the Conundrum. And it was a test to see if it would work and it went across 30 miles of water. I'm not sure they managed it in the end because D-Day happened. So they didn't need to. But cool technical stuff and that makes this important. Water map. What a beautiful one. to service Saturday the 18th of September Easterly Force 23 Sea State Choppy all weather lifeboat launch to local boat broken down to east of Coombe Martin with four persons on board lifeboat walk boat safely back to Ilfkin Harbour Oh, That's oh. A bit better. Oh. Wow, that goes on for ages. <laughs> yep. Just leaving Ilfracombe, hopefully. We're here for ages. Took a while to get it over. Well, yeah. Yeah. Nice place, Nice, we'll come back. Um, and Rob's just lubed up his balls so he won't get chafage. Hi, Lindy. No puffins this time of year, though. That's really gone. We uh, are here at what can only be described from the sign as viewpoint. But it's got like compass and some of the key highlights of this coastline, including tents, gates, Caravans, skateboarders, surfboards, Willacombe, terraced houses, cottages. Ah, oh, so Great Hangman is six miles away. That's good. Funny theatres mm. and seagulls. Linton. Puffins. Linton. See Linton? Do you know if you can? Wow. Elf of Cream. We've made it over the other side. It's turned into a beautiful day. Like gorgeous sun, blue skies. And this is a bit after Lee Bay, which is really nice. And we're walking towards Bull Point. Today is the step day. So the question is, is around this corner Mort Point? Or really hope it is. Got all the angry seas crashing together. It must be here. I want a sign, post, stroke, display board, and information that tells me that I've reached the destination we were aiming for because when we get here, I get to eat jelly. Oh, I've got my jelly. All right, the end. Yay! Got my jelly. It's on my, well, this is hard to hold, so I'm just going to eat some of this. Ah. Mmm. Cold dry. Okay, 
Murphy. It's about dogs and jeans, right? So we've got paw prints, we've got a bone, got a ball, I think it's a golden turd. And then down here, they've written moo, bark, woof. Can you see that? Poo! Someone wrote poo, which I think is very true. You find dogs poo in the jeans. What do you want? Don't make me do it. I don't want to walk anymore. I want to go and have nice food in Coid. And Wade's really far away. I mean. Join us next time as the journey continues across North Devon.